Your discretion is advised. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely gonna love my channel. So make sure you like and subscribe, turn on those notification bells below, and today, let's get right into it. So this will be my third New Orleans vlog out of the five that I do have, so definitely stay tuned for the other two. However, in this vlog, we will be going to the one and only Madame Lalaurie's house. Now, the Madame Lalaurie house was featured in the hit TV show, American Horror Story, which is one of my favorite TV shows. However, this house has a very dark history. So Madame Lalaurie was played by the amazing actress Kathy Bates in the show American Horror Story. But in real life, Madame Lalaurie, she did torture a lot of slaves. And that is why there is a fear discretion advised video at the beginning of this video. Because we will be looking at some Halloween decorations that might be a little gruesome for some viewers. So definitely stay tuned for that. And Madame Lalaurie actually lived in the 1800s. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So starting off, we see a lot of haunted history tours all over New Orleans. We also see a lot of bars that do have a ghost and spirit theme. So walking down New Orleans, I've said it once and I said it before, I absolutely love this city so much. It's so incredible. I love walking down all of the streets, just like the pavements of the road and all of the architecture and buildings. It's just so cool. And everybody was so friendly here. There are people from all around the world here and it's just so casual and everyone's just so friendly. Okay, so now we are at the corner of Royal Street, and down this street, when we go about like seven blocks to the right, we will get to the one and only Madame Lalaurie's house. So walking down, we do have a lot of shops that do involve art. Also, a lot of antique shops as well. The shopping here was definitely one of my favorites. I did end up getting quite a bit because all of these really cute antique shops, and they were all really good. The shops over here, I definitely really liked. And this building right here I absolutely loved, mainly because of the trees. If you know me, you know I love trees and I love greenery, so this was a beautiful shot for me to film. Now we're actually outside the Supreme Court House, and this one I didn't know it was a courthouse, I thought it was just a library, and I really loved the architecture of this building, and that's why I was so disappointed that it was not a library, because I was going to go inside and check it out, however the fact that it was a courthouse, I was like, no way. Now we have more architecture and the apartment buildings here, I actually really do love them. I don't know how anybody could live out here though in the city. They're beautiful, beautiful buildings, but it is quite noisy. This apartment right here to the right was my absolute favorite. If I had to live in any of these, I would love to live at the very top one right here. I think that balcony is just so beautiful. So now we are about two blocks away from Madame Lalaurie's house, and this street right here, I personally really loved because it's 100% American Horror Story when Marie Lafoe shows up with the mob. Maybe they even filmed right there in that specific spot. I'm not entirely sure. However, in this next scene, look in the left bottom corner, and then you can see a man walk out of the screen, and when I go to look, he is nowhere to be found. These houses right here, I really did love because I love the architecture, and they totally gave me Marie Laveau vibes. However, for real, like, where did that man go that was in the corner? There's just no way that man walked that fast. Okay, so here we are at the Madame Lalaurie house, and this one is really cool because these gates right here are actually the gates that she did escape with. So when the mob did come to her house, she got on her horse and her carriage, and then she ran everybody over and then escaped to Paris right out of these gates, which is a fact to note. And another fact to mention about these gates is in another vlog that's coming up soon, we do go on the ghost tour, so we come to this house at night. My friend says something so disrespectful. Not only could I see, but I could feel seven shadows behind this gate, and it just felt like such bad energy, and that whatever he said 100% made them angry. So this house, I would definitely say yes, is 100% haunted. And here's just more of a close-up of the sign in case you want to read it. So we are now walking to the front door of the house, and I do have to give you a warning. They do have Halloween decorations of how Madame Lurie did torture the slaves. So, you know, do like be prepared to like see it. Here's the front gate, and we can see all of the Halloween decorations. Now, above the Madame Lalaurie right here, it does say Chop Shop. And then you can see all of the ways that she allegedly, you know, did torture her slaves. And then it is kind of really sad. Like, the decorations, when you know the history and you know it really happened, it's a little, like, eh, I, I don't know. So now we're actually about to walk to the side of the house. And a crazy fact to know is that, like, all of these windows and these doors on the side right here, 
They were all like torn down when the mob did come to run her out of her house. They broke them, they threw bottles that were on fire in there, and that's just all such a crazy fact to know. Now something that I wanted to point out is the door right here to the right that says 640. It's either this one or the one right next to it that leads to the kitchen. The kitchens of the houses were never connected, but I will get into this in my next scene so you know, remember that. So here we are at the Madame Lallerie mansion, and this one is so beautiful to look at, but it has such a dark history to it. So the third floor that you are seeing right here was actually never built until after she was already long gone. So when Nicolas Cage ended up buying the house, I think he was the one that added the third part, or maybe it was already there before him. But Nicolas Cage did say that he would get pushed and there's too many things that would happen in that house. It was insanely haunted and he could not stay there. Even American Horror Story tried to film inside this house and they couldn't. They said that they had way too many issues and nobody felt safe to do so. So with that in mind, Madame Lallerie occupied the first and second level of the house. And then when you look over here to the left of the screen, that area of the house up top, that is actually where she would have her torture chamber. So Madame Lallerie allegedly had nine slaves and they were all brutally tortured. And it wasn't until April 10th of 1834 that one of her slaves was chained to the oven and the slave was trying to kill herself because she did not want to get tortured after the party. Madame Lallerie threw a party and she knew that after that ended, she would be taken to the torture chamber. So the slave tried to kill herself, which then caused a fire, which drew the police in. And once the police arrived, they realized that Madame Lallerie had a torture chamber of nine slaves that were all brutally tortured. From that point on, Madame Lallerie knew that the only way out was to leave the country. Madame Lallerie apparently died in Paris in 1849. And that is just a very small history lesson of this Madame Lallerie mansion. Currently standing across the street, we can see that it is decorated for Halloween. There's a giant Grim Reaper out in front, and we can really just get all of the angles of this house and really see the beauty in the architecture. And now we are back outside of the front of the house, and we can see all of the beautiful architecture and all of these cute little rainbows on screen. Definitely a beautiful shot, and I was really, really happy to get to see this and to come here and be here. I'm such a huge fan of American Horror Story, and I did think it was a little funny that like a horse and carriage did end up passing by, because like I said, she did end up escaping with a horse and carriage, so I thought that was funny. And I also think it's funny that the Marie's House of Voodoo is literally only like two blocks away from the actual house, right around the corner. And I highly doubt that they actually did know each other. I'm pretty sure it was just used for the actual American Horror Story show. But if you've seen the show, that's a funny fact. So we will now be heading to Jackson Square and checking out the downtown city. I can tell you that it's definitely a vibe and a lot of parties on the street. <laughs> even have the clown Pennywise and Ursula stopping by to say hi. This Pennywise was so cute because he actually did stop the horse to point at me. He was like, wait, 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 let, 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 let's get this guy. And we have a wedding here. <laughs> So now we're at Jackson Square to burn our bras. Fiona, I thought you had gone with the other girls down to Jackson Square to burn your bra. Why? So I can gag on the toxic fumes coming off all that burning playtex. No thanks. Now we will be walking into Jackson Square, the actual park, and it is really nice. There's a lot of beautiful fountains, definitely a lot of greenery, a lot of trees, a beautiful blue sky, which I definitely, definitely love. And Jackson Square, we can see the welcome sign. And here's just more of a close-up of the sign in case you want to read it. This building was one of my absolute favorites. I want to be sitting at the top of it in a beautiful Versace gown, and that would be like everything to me. Here we have this beautiful statue, which is really beautiful. And then, of course, you know, zooming in, we can get a little bit of a closer look at it. To get a better look at it, we can see that it's super cool and very detailed. We have the Jackson Brewing Company building, which is so, like, New York vibes. And again, the architecture is everything. We have the Foodoo House of Blues, which was actually a really good shop. 
And then I did see this dress right here, and it was 100% Merlot Snow from American Horror Story. I was like, if Merlot was here, she would 100% pick that up, 100% her vibe. So now I'm walking back to the hotel, but I did stop at this spot where you can leave all of your locks for Marie Lefeau. Now there is like a little like legend, you leave a lock and you wish for something, and usually it comes true, so it's said. I did want to leave a lock, but I actually did forget to. Um, I do end up going to the cemetery, and I do have a lot of Marie Lefeau stuff coming up in my next vlog, so stay tuned for that. But I also did love the fact that it has, says Love Wins right here. So I thought that was very beautiful, and it's just such good energy being here. And just like, dang, look at all of these locks. Look at all of these people that have left them. And it was just really, really cool to see, honestly. And now a beautiful view of the waterfront and the bridge. Very relaxing. This is when I would be having my 420 friend with me and just walking around peaceful. Nearly back at the hotel, and we can see the Monument of Immigrants, which is a really beautiful statue. And then anyone that does come to America to live the American dream, I 100% totally get that, and I do think this statue is beautiful. So on the way back to the hotel, this is one of my favorite spots. I did end up coming here a lot just to like sit down and relax. It was just one of my peaceful, relaxing spots. So now we are back at the hotel, and of course I am having my steak and fry dinner with this gorgeous view of New Orleans. And one last beautiful shot of New Orleans and the water. Being here, I definitely loved being here. I do have a lot more New Orleans vlogs coming. I do have two more, so stay tuned for that. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I do have a lot more vlogs coming very soon, and my next one will be about Marie Lefeau, so that will be very exciting. So definitely stay tuned for that, and a lot of other fashion videos coming soon, including Versace bags, what fits inside, and Prada bags as well. So definitely, you know, like and subscribe. Definitely comment down below, and have a great day. Au revoir.